Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Traps again and today uh, I promised I would make another video about all the fossil finds that I did on vacation this year. Uh, as some of you guys know, it was Jurassic Park Traps on tour. Uh, we went on holiday to a fossil location uh, called Katzand and Nieuwvliet. Uh, I mainly uh, searched at uh, Nieuwvliet at the beach where I always search. Uh, I've been searching on this location for about 19 years now and uh, this year was a blast again. Uh, we're just gonna take a look at all the fossils a little bit quickly. I don't have too much time for this video unfortunately, but um, let's start uh, out with the video. Um, so I just went uh, fossil hunting on the beach and uh, this is what I basically found. Uh, let's start in the corner. These are glauconite sandstone shards. Uh, basically it's uh, sandstone that uh, fossilized with all kinds of mollusks of bivalves inside them. Uh, I think these pieces are pretty interesting. Some of them actually have little graveyards of uh, fossil life in them. Basically this is a little graveyard of shells. Interesting piece. Um, a big mammal bone, not completely sure what it's, from what kind of animal it was, but this is a large piece of bone that has been fossilized as well. Um, some various bone fragments. Um, these are some coral fragments. Um, this is a herring bone from a uh, dolphin, possibly. Um, this is a hearing bone as well. Possibly, I'm not completely sure, but it's a particular fossil as well. Kind of looks like an ear. Um, some fossil snails. Pretty small ones. Not completely sure what this was, but it looks interesting as well. <laughs> This might be a little um, bone or like a, a fish um, from a fish, not completely sure. Like one fin of a fish that has been fossilized, not completely sure though. Um, we have some bivalves over here. Fossil bivalve. Small boss fossil bivalve. Really small one. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, this is a larger bivalve, but it has been damaged quite a lot. But you can still see it was a bivalve. Looks like a pebble now, but it's a bivalve. Fun little find. Um, and some f bivalve parts again. Um, next we have probably my most favorite finds, the phosphorite crabs. These are fossil crabs from um, like 60 million years ago and they are um, Coloma balticum crabs. It's an extinct crab species and uh, these are the fossil remains of these crabs. This particular one actually had the legs still intact and fossilized beneath it which is a really interesting specimen. Never found a crab like this before, but when I found it, I was definitely really happy with finding this specimen. Never found one with the legs intact. Like this one, really big, nice crab, but unfortunately the bottom is a mess. So that's unfortunate, but they usually look like this and not like this. This is like quite an exception. Coloma balticum, not completely sure what type of crab this was, but this one is definitely a different type of crab. Um, this is another Coloma balticum, Coloma balticum I think, large one. This is a chunk of a crab, unfortunately broken. Uh, broken fragment, broken fragment, broken fragment, and this is one of the front claws, really chunky claw, and this is one of the pincers, fossilized. Really interesting little crabby parts. Uh, these ones are going to get a nice spot in my case, in my collection. 
Um, next up is a special subject. They are micro called microfossils. These are dental plates from uh, the Albula oweni fish. And um, there are a large variety of dental plates from this fish species. As you can see. Beautiful specimens of the Albula oweni. Uh, fish. It's an extinct albula fish type from the prehistoric times. Next we have uh, stingray teeth. All kinds of little plates, dental plates from the stingrays. Which this one was the best and most interesting one. It's a really large fragment of a dental plate from a ray. Um, some fossil shark teeth. Complete ones. Spiky ones, large chunks, medium chunks, a lot of small chunks. Um, these are the true micro fossils. I will try to zoom in. These are only several millimeters large, and these are called foraminifera micro fossils. Truly small little fossils. Mm. And this. Is one of the most interesting finds possibly. It's a uh, reptile egg, a fossil egg, probably from a snake or other type of reptile. Really interesting specimen. Never found this before. Beautiful little tiny egg. So that's it guys uh, it's a, like I said it's a small video just passed through it quite fast but I don't have too much time for this video right now but maybe I will do another uh, tour in the future where all of these finds have been uh, put on display and I'll show you guys how they look on the display so these were all the finds of this last year's uh, fossil hunt 2021 it was a blast a lot of like a lot of uh, fossils have been found it's like a, quite a little collection on its own truly happy with it